Hey guys, uh, I'm here, hello, hey. Apologies that I look like a wet rat and my room is a disaster, ignore that. I am exhausted, I've been working my business full time and it's been a lot along with other things and health, blah, 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 whatever, you get it. Um, so I'm here with another video, oh, it's been a while. <clears throat> but that's okay. Um, coming at you with a with a hair update. Doesn't it look beautiful? Aren't I stunning? <laughs> but anyways, I uh, I realized a little bit uh, late that I should probably do the whole process of my microneedling um, because that just makes sense that you would see it with your eyes instead of just taking my word for it. So hopefully I can scroll back through my thousands of pictures of my cats and, uh, and, and nature pictures and stuff and I'll be able to find a picture of what my scalp looked like before. No promises, but if so, I will insert it here. If you didn't see anything, it's because I was either too lazy to find it or I couldn't find it. Anyways, so my scalp was having a lot of problems. I had a lot of like, you know, scabs, irritation and stuff, and that was kind of a nightmare and it was itchy all the time I would be scratching my head literally like all day and it was awful and I definitely like my hair was suffering from it because you know healthy hair starts at the scalp and all that anyways I don't know how well you'll be able to see but my scalp it's all oiled right now it's doing a lot better hopefully you could see that or else I'll insert a picture here of what my scalp looks like but probably without the oil because I don't know. Anyways, I'm wasting time. Um, so anyways, the oil combination that I've been using on my scalp, <laughs> excuse me, um, has been jojoba oil with tea tree oil, which the tea tree oil really helped clean up all of whatever that is. And then also I've been using um, like the castor oil. I'll post a picture of all the different products that I've been using. Not a sponsor. This is not a sponsored video at all. It's just what I use personally for me. Um, it helped my scalp significantly and it has now kind of prepped it for microneedling because you don't want to have a bunch of like, you know, open wounds on your scalp when you're shoving a bunch of needles into it. Um, so essentially what I'm doing today is oiling my scalp because my hair is always a million times nicer and my scalp is always a million times nicer when I oil my scalp before I shower. And I'm going to go shower and then I'm going to let my hair dry a little bit and then I'm going to microneedle my scalp because I would like to be a person that has hair. I know it might look like I have hair and like the sides, like they're still kind of thin, but there's also really greasy. I need to shower like every other day. But the back of my head here, sorry if you can't see it, I can't see it has relatively thick hair for me, uh, but the top here is very sparse um, and very thin hair, and it sucks because like, you know, I'd rather have hair on top of my head than the back of my head because the second it gets greasy, which takes about a day and a half, I look like I'm going bald. And I do have some kind of bald-ish spots, especially like right in here, there's like whole sections where my hair just kind of doesn't really grow very well at all. Uh, I know people will be like, oh, why don't you go to a dermatologist? Why don't you talk to a hair specialist? You, well, I, that requires going out and talking with doctors and stuff. And I will do it maybe, but first I want to try some potentially damaging stuff first because I'm a bad influence who will find ways to do things. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I will if this doesn't work, but if this works, then why not? Why not? I don't want to be taking medication every single day. I'd much rather just like put some oil on my scalp and try the microneedling like once a month or so and just see how it works. If it doesn't work, then sure. But I don't want to, I don't want to be taking like pills and all this stuff and be reliant on big pharma or whatever forever. If I can just once a month, just jab some needles into my scalp. I think that's much more preferable for me personally. So fight about it in the comments down below if you want, I guess. I know. I know. So I've got shit in my eyes. I know. I'm, a, I'm an impressive specimen. <laughs> 
But anyways, so there's sort of like the update. Um, I don't know if I've told you everything you need to know. Uh, but yeah, that's my new oil regimen. Maybe if you're lucky, I'll do a video showing you how I do it. But I ran out of two of my oils today, so I can't even do that right now. It's, it's not an exciting process. It's just, it's whatever. But anyway, so I'm taking too long already. This video is going to be too long. Apologies, as usual. Too long. I talk a lot. Anyways, so yeah. The oil's on my scalp. Um, I'm going to let it sit for another like half hour to an hour or so while I lazily drink my coffee and watch some YouTube videos. And then I'm going to shower and I'll be back here to show you me hurting myself. That's not true, YouTube. Okay, it is, but I shouldn't be too bad. I'm freaking covered in tattoos. How bad can a microneedling gun be on your scalp? Can't be that bad, right? I should probably keep my head back. Okay, I'll be back um, when I get out of the shower. See you in a second. I'm back with the most jerry-rigged friggin' camera setup that you could imagine, because apparently I can't find my actual phone holder for my tripod. Uh, so I'm just doing this the best I can. Anyway, so my hair dries so fast. This is like, this is like 20 minutes out of the shower. It's dry. It's one benefit to having really thin, fair hair. Uh, but I figured I'd show you the progress of my natural hair growing out. It's like this. It's actually, you know, it's not a bad color. You know, I've, for years and years, I was so used to dyeing it other colors. And you can see like the ends are still pretty much white from my white hair before, which was a lot of fun, but gosh darn did my scalp hate the root touch-ups, even if I was like every like month and a half or two months, it's just no, just no, no more. I, I shouldn't, what is it little moon? My cat is interrupting, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so here it is, my hairs. And you know, it, it kind of looks like I have hair on top, right? Because I have, my hair grows straight up and out. So it does add a little bit of volume. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm trying to look here so you can see. But you can see, there's not an awful lot of it. There's a lot of patchiness, a lot of spots where it doesn't, I don't have a whole lot. I don't have an awful lot of hair. It's thin, so all the people saying, oh, you have hair, you have hair. No, I don't. <laughs> like, yes, I understand there are people that have thinner hair than me, but that, like, I can still be upset that I have thin hair when I'm the only person in my family that has thin hair. And I'm also one of the only blondes as well, so that's another thing to consider. I'm gonna be very careful, like, I'm not gonna go over this spot. Um, that's why I'm trying to get it so you can see. Like, it is fairly thin. I don't mind the side being as thin as much, it's just... This area right here is a problem for me, so that's like where I'm going to target it. Also, the sun decided now is the time to attack my face, so yeah, that's great. So hopefully this doesn't come... <laughs> if I close these blinds, you won't be able to see anything because the lighting I have isn't as good. So hope just, just bear with me, please. But yeah, so there's my scalp. It is looking significantly better than it was before. And again, I'm just going to kind of target this front area. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm back. I've got my thing. It's all sanitized. My hands are all clean. Uh, I have it set to 1.5 millimeters because that was sort of like what was, you know, that's what they said to do. So I'm going to try it. Uh, so I have the uh, Dr. Pen M8S. Again, no sponsors. I'm just giving it a try. Uh, I wanted to see how it goes. So, charged it for a little bit. It's got its funky, dunky little needles in there. Dip that in alcohol and everything. So it should be really clean, really sterile. So, don't worry. I'm, I'm taking precautions because you know I'm doing this at home. I'm, I wiped this all down with with uh, alcohol and everything. My hands are all sanitized. So don't come for me in the comments, or if you do, 
Yeah, whatever. It's just more engagement anyways, right? So I got a mirror right here. So I, I'm going to give this a try. Let's see how this feels. So you got to hold it. I'm going to go with speed three. This ought to be interesting. Wish me luck. Let's, let's see how this goes. Gonna... Oh boy, this is... <laughs> it's like, it's weird to do it the first time. It would almost be better if someone else was doing it, but I don't know anybody that can. Besides, oh, maybe a doctor? I don't know. I, just, I gotta have it so I can see, so you can also see. Oh my god, I can feel the breeze. I don't know if I want to move my phone or the camera. Use my arm. Okay, apologies if you can't see. I'm, I'm working with what I got. Okay. Oh god, this is... Okay, this, this... It's probably work. Alright. not so bad. It's not so bad at all, actually. So I'm doing the stamping, because if you just, like, glide along, I don't think it'll be as effective. And it might rip some hairs out. Oh, it doesn't feel good, though. I'll give you that much. It does not feel good. Oh, I'm trying to be careful with my hands so I don't not, not like, ow, oh, it does hurt. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. You can kind of see it's getting red, Maybe a little bit of blood. Sorry, I'm going to have to do it here a little differently. It'll be in the way of the camera, I'm sorry, but I can't touch anything. I think you get the gist of what I'm doing now. Be as careful as I can be. It's not catching on my hair. I think that was one concern that I had that maybe it would like pull up hair and it would get caught, but so far I haven't had any issues with that. So you probably won't have to worry too much about that. Tearing up a little though. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry if I look awful. It's because I feel awful. It's not true. It's only kind of true. It's better freaking work. I mean, worst case, I at least have an interesting video, right? So you want it to go straight down. Yeah, more than anything, my eye is suffering. I also did like a deep cleanse on my face too, so. Did my big shower today. Oh, it tickles up here. It doesn't hurt as much up here as much as it just kind of tickles. But like you can see it's it's starting to turn red. Oh.
give across the top here. Oh. Okay, let's get. Ooh. Definitely hurts more in like the front than the top. But like, you see what I mean? It's really thin in the front, and that's what people see first. So it's like, I don't want people to see that being as thin as it is. And ever since I started oiling my scalp, I started gaining a little bit of a widow's peak. And it's a really thin widow's peak. It's a small one, but it's really thin. And so now it looks even more sparse. I've definitely noticed a massive difference with my hair though, with the oiling. I've grown more hair, for sure. I wish I had more progress pictures of that, but my life has been all over the place. And so it's like, for a while I'll be like, oh, I'm too tired or I just can't be hecked to keep track of stuff. You know how life gets. I'm not a YouTuber really, you know, so I'm just uploading videos whenever I have the time or energy to Oh, it's just going straight to my eyes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. It's like hitting a nerve that I can feel in my nose, and it's going right into the corner of my eyes. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. I don't know how much time I have left on this recording. There's a pipe cleaner covering it. Yeah, I'm using pipe cleaners to hold this up. <laughs> Come on, Arkea. This is okay. This is fine. If you can sit through six and a half hours per tattoo session, you can you can deal with a little bit of microneedling. Oh. I can totally understand why someone would want to pay someone else to do this though. A lot of the time they'll use like a numbing cream as well. And I've I've had numbing creams for like getting my tattoo sessions done before. If I'm honest, they don't do anything for me at all. I still feel it all. Same thing with getting like dental work done. They'll inject like numbing agents into my mouth. And I'm like, can you feel this? I'll be like, yes, I freaking can. Oh. I think it's all a scam. <laughs> it's never affected me. Like, ever. It's getting a lot easier, by the way. I was really scared at first, if I'm totally honest. Oh, my eyes. Okay, I'm done, sorry. I guess I ran out of film time, so I figured I would just finish it on my own. So, hands are all clean again, I washed them again. I disposed of the needle. Um, stuff's properly put away. I figured I would show you my scalp. So you can see it is red and there are little speckles of blood that is to be expected. It wasn't that bad and you know the longer I went the more like used to it I got because like it, it really does just kind of feel like a less intense uh like tattoo gun you know. So yeah it definitely feels a little warm. I, went, I, I brought it, I started in the front, I worked my way back, so I went back to about here, so I was just kind of getting this whole section, um, trying to be careful not to touch it too much, just pull the hair around, but I did, I did sanitize my hands, I washed them and then I sanitized them as well after my hands, you're gonna hate me, they're so dry, but 
you know, the things we do for beauty. So yeah, it's definitely micro-needled. It, uh, I, I ended up going the full one, 1.5 millimeters. Because at first, I definitely wasn't pressing it down all the way. See, I kind of stopped just above here. I don't know if I'm going to target the side of my head. Uh, but I'll start with the top and kind of see how that goes. And hopefully it goes well. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be someone in the comments telling me how I'm doing something wrong. But you know what? It's my head, so if you have a problem with that, too bad. Or whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know how many views this video is even going to get. Will it get five? Will it get ten? Will it get ten thousand? I don't know. <sighs> Just don't be an ass, I guess. I'm doing my best over here, okay? I'm not a professional. I guess I should preface with that. I'm not a professional. But I am curious, and I have thin hair, so I want to deal with that. Um, so this is kind of where I'm going to end the video, I guess. I'll make an editor's note if I think of anything else I have to say, but otherwise I've already kept you here for too long, I think. Sorry. <laughs> um, if there's anything that you do want to add in the comments down below, if there's any recommendations that you have. I already kind of have, like, what works for me, but if uh, tell me what your routine is. Do you do microneedling? Do you do it yourself? Do you go to a professional? Um, are you terrified of the thought? Because um, it's really not that bad. It's just a little bit of pain. It's it was scary at first, don't get me wrong. I was like, <laughs> you know, but hey, once I got it on, like, yeah, it stung, but like, pain is just a sensation. You know, it's just your brain telling you something's going on. So if you just power through that, it's really not that bad. And like, yeah, it stung a lot more in my, my problem area, which is great. But like, the more I went back, I mean, it just kind of, like, it just kind of felt like a sensation. It wasn't so intense that it was a problem at all. It didn't even really hurt once I got back to here. Um, it's, it was fine, I think. I think it was totally fine. So, yeah. Would I recommend it? I don't know. I guess I'll find out in a few months. I'm gonna do it like once a month for a while and like six months to a year and we'll see if I have any noticeable changes. Um, I mean, if I find it doesn't work for me, oh, maybe I'll just, I'll sell it or something. I mean, this actual pen itself doesn't touch your scalp. I mean, this can be sanitized and then you get new needles for yourself. So I don't really feel like bad about that, which is I mean, obviously I would sell it for less than what I bought it for, but I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. I shouldn't even really be thinking about that yet, but just in case. Um, oh yeah, I was using speed three, by the way. I don't remember if I told you that. I didn't want to go for the full six. Next time I'll probably try speed six. Um, I just wanted to know what it felt like and it wasn't that bad. Um, I don't know if I have a higher tolerance to that kind of pain because I have gone through so many hours of tattoos. And imagine how long, like it took a while to get all the shading done on here, man. Like, the armpit stung along here. Long hair was terrible. The tattoos were significantly worse than the than the microneedling pen, and even then the tattoos weren't that bad. Similar sensation though, very very similar sensation. They're basically tattoo guns. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any questions or whatever, throw them down in the comments. Again, I'm not a professional. Nothing in this is sponsored. I'm just curious and. I figured I would share it because maybe my experience will either help others make a decision for themselves or just be interesting. I don't know. I watch videos about everything, so maybe you do too. So yeah. So I was going to end the video there. Uh, it's the next day. I figured I would do just like a little quick update as to how my scalp feels and like how it was overnight and how it went over throughout the day because I figured maybe people would be curious about the healing. Um, I guess I, I take like iron supplementations and a lot of extra vitamin D so I don't know if maybe I just healed up all right but day two and uh, sorry if you can't see it very well but um, 
my scalp feels fine. There's a little bit of redness. It's not, it's not bad. Um, I just felt a little bit tight for a couple hours after. I just kind of hung out at home, you know, I didn't, I didn't go out for a while and it just, it's, it's feeling fine today. And I have fairly flat pillows too. So because I just did the top of my head, I still use a cl clean pillow case, but I also lie like on my back. So my head was pretty much like this. So I, I wasn't really worried about my head touching my pillow. Um, but I, I haven't noticed any problems with it. It's just got some redness. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, yeah, it just, it feels fine. Um, and I didn't, I didn't have any sort of like, oh, how do I say it? I don't, I don't think it got contaminated in any way. I think I kept, kept it very sterile. Uh, there's no like awkward bumps or pustules that I can see on the top of my head. So that's a good thing. Um. I don't think that the recovery process is going to be a big deal. We'll see. Maybe next time I'll be a little bit more confident in the microneedling and I'll end up just like going for it, you know? But all in all, I mean, it was a very simple process. It literally only took me 15 minutes, um, you know, not including like, you know, the shower like the oiling and the showering and everything so i'm gonna wait at least another like hour or so they say wait exactly 24 hours before your next shower so i'm probably gonna shower just to like wash my hair again and like get any of like the any of the excess blood or whatever off but i'm pretty sure it's just like it's already sealed up it feels fine my scalp moves around like normal i can kind of move the skin around and it doesn't hurt. It didn't hurt yesterday either. Um, very simple process. I think the worst part is pretty much just going over this front area, which you can actually also see is more red. Um, and I, I wouldn't even say it's irritated. I would just say it's, uh, it's just a little red. I don't know, but, um, yeah, so I guess I'll just keep following a good diet, have good nutrition, uh, get some exercise, shower as often as I need to. Um, I also have hyperhidrosis, so I sweat a lot. There's a lot of other things that come with that. Uh, so that's probably another reason why I have to shower, like at least, at least every other day. Uh, I will often like at least wash my body every day, but like my hair, I kind of have to wash it at least every other day or else I start looking like a drowned rat. Um, especially with the really thin hair, it just, it pulls all my hair together so you can really see my scalp, but like, and, and then with the way my hair grows, like this goes forward, this goes backwards, and then this goes backwards, and then these parts go forward. So like often that spot right there is highlighted. So I'm really hoping this works. I I am really hoping that this works and maybe I can grow at least a couple more hairs here just so that I don't look like I'm balding all the time. And also when my hair is longer too, when I comb it, it does tend to be a little bit less uh, like greasy because then, you know, you bring the, the grease down and whatnot. So I just have to, you know, get my 100, 100 brush strokes in or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to be growing my hair out again. I don't know how long. I'm going to probably grow it to like here and then just like continue to get trims until all the dyed stuff is gone. And then we'll see where I go from there. Because when my hair does get really long, it gets really heavy. Like I, I can easily grow it to my knees in like four years. Easy. Like it, it's like a weed. And even then that's with frequent trimming. So Wish me luck, wish me luck and good luck on your hair journey and all that if you're working on that. Hopefully anything I say or do is helpful. Um, again, I'm so sorry this video is so long. I just, I talk, but I wanna make sure you have all the information. I wanna make sure that I, I, I articulate it and then you can see what I'm doing and hear what I'm doing. Um, so hopefully it helps. 
and I hope you're having a wonderful day or night, whatever it is, whenever you are, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next video. Don't know when that one will be, uh, but the more you guys complain in the comments about me not uploading enough, um, the more I sit and I think, oh, maybe I should upload, and then maybe I'll upload two, three months after that, <laughs> if you're lucky. Uh, again, I'm not a YouTuber. Um, I'm doing this whenever I have free time. I'm very busy, but... I'll do my best to get the videos out that you guys have been asking for because I've had people DMing me, I've had people commenting, um, and I'll start a video and I'll be like, oh yeah, you can't wait to see how this turns out, right guys? And then I just don't follow up, so I, I'm really sorry about that, I'm really bad for that. Um, if there's anything else I want to if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, I'll respond to them as soon as I can. Uh, just even to tell you guys where I'm at in, pro in the progress if I don't have enough time to do a video. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess I'll I'll see you in the next video. So, or in Discord or Twitch or something. Bye! <laughs>